What's up guys, Austin Dunham back again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you the best way in order to increase your reps in any exercise. It could be push-ups, pull-ups, squats, dips, doesn't matter the exercise. I'm gonna tell you the best way to how to increase your reps and I'm gonna give you a workout routine on how to do it. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, so let's talk about the best way in order to increase your reps. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a method called greasing the groove. You probably heard of it. Uh, it was invented by a guy named Pavel. This method will allow you to probably hit up 100 push-ups in a row, 50 pull-ups in a row, if you work really hard for it. So like I said, there's no limit when doing this. So in order to get the best out of this routine, First, you need to figure out your max push-ups, pull-ups, squats, dips, whatever exercise you wanna get better at. So for this example, let's use push-ups, all right? So we wanna do 100 push-ups in a row. So let's say I can do 50 push-ups, max push-ups right now. That's it, and I'm done. So in order to get 100 push-ups in a row, we're gonna use this greasing the groove method. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my max number of push-ups, divide that by two, so that's 25, right? So 25 is 50 divided by two. So take that number, divide it by two, and simply we're just gonna perform that amount of push-ups throughout the day as many times as possible. So for example, waking up in the morning, I'll crank out 25 push-ups. And then uh, after I eat lunch, crank out 25 push-ups. Um, after I use the restroom, 25 push-ups. After I just got done watching a YouTube video, 25 push-ups. Before I go to bed, 25 push-ups. Before I make dinner, 25 push-ups. The idea here is that we're doing sub-maximal sets throughout the day um, in order to get better at a movement. So we're doing this without uh, completely tiring ourselves. That's why we're doing half the number of reps that we uh, at max can do. So throughout the day, we're never getting tired of doing the movement, but at the end of the day, if you take into our total rep count, we've done a lot of push-ups. So if I'm doing five sets, whatever 25 times five is, that's how many push-ups I did throughout the whole entire day, and that's a lot of push-ups. Now if you do that every day, you can see why you might get better at the push-up or the pull-up or the dip, whatever movement that you wanna get better at. So pull-ups for example now, let's say I can do 15 reps and I wanna be able to do at least 30 pull-ups in a row. So throughout the day, I'm gonna be doing anywhere between seven and eight reps of the pull-up. So when I wake up in the morning, after breakfast, you know, at least half uh, between three and four hours between these sets. You don't wanna uh, do it every single, each and every hour. You wanna have between at least three and four hours between the sets. This is gonna maximize your recovery and your results when doing it because you'll never be tired, but at the same time, you'll be getting better at the movement. Now, I did the same exact thing in order to get uh, better at my push-ups for my PT test, and this method actually is what allowed me to bring my push-ups up to probably 80 in a row now and I'm easily maxing out my push-ups on the PT test so I started out being able to do only 40 push-ups so throughout the day I did 25 push-ups just spread throughout the day probably at least six times a day with three to four hours in between and now um, I can do like I said 80 push-ups in a row or probably even more so in order to see if you're making any progress when doing this you want to test your max number of push-ups or pull-ups again every single two weeks so we're doing this uh, anywhere between five times a week or six times a week. Don't do it every single day, but after two weeks has passed, test that number of max amount of pushups again. So I start out with 50. Now let's say I can do 60 or 65. That means we made progress and we're doing something right. So now that I can do 60 or 65, now I'm gonna up the number of reps I do throughout the day. So now I'm gonna do 30 pushups or 35 pushups spread out between the day with three to four hours in between each. Same goes for pull-ups or dips or whatever exercise. So that is the simple method to getting better at any exercise that you want to and probably getting over 100 reps and becoming really efficient at that movement. Now this can practically be used for any exercise, one arm pull-ups, front lever, really doesn't matter. Just grease the groove and you will see results. So if you learned something new or you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future videos where I have more workout routines coming and more tutorials and tips and tricks in regards to calisthenics coming. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you soon. Peace.